ஐடியா ஃபுட் ஈஸ் வெல்கம் டு அ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டேஸ்டி கிச்சன் சூஜி ஆர் ரவா ஆர் செமலீனா இஸ் அ வெரி வர்சிடைல் இன்கிரீடியன்ட் வித் கிவ்ஸ் அ வண்டர்ஃபுல் டெக்ஸ்டோ அண்ட் லைட்டர் கேக் ஸோ ஹியர் ஐ ஆம் வித் அ எக்லெஸ் சூஜி ஆர் ரவா கேக் இன் கடாய் டேக் ஒன் கப் செமலீனா add to a grinder jar and grind it well to a powder form add this to a bowl now add 1 cup milk half cup curd and mix well Let it rest for 30 minutes. Take 1/3 cup milk and 1 teaspoon lemon juice. Mix well. Buttermilk is ready. Keep it aside. Take another bowl. add half cup all purpose flour one teaspoon baking powder one fourth teaspoon baking soda one fourth teaspoon salt and sieve the ingredients now add half cup powdered sugar to it mix them all together now take the semolina add half cup oil mix well add the dry ingredients and butter milk and mix them well now add 1/4 teaspoon vanilla essence batter is ready now take a non stick kadai with butter paper and grease it with oil pour the batter in it tap it once now add tutti frutti on the top 
Cook it on low flame for 40 to 45 minutes or you can bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for 50 minutes. Cover the lid hole with foil. Once done, check it. Semolina or rava cake is ready now. This is not too sweet, so you can enjoy this cake with your tea and also a best kids tiffin box recipe. If you like my video please do like share and subscribe see you in my next video till then take very good care of yourselves bye bye What's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
Hello my dear foodies. Welcome to our friends Tasty Kitchen. Today's video is about the trending pinata cake and I am very much excited to share my version of pinata cake. Preparation of pinata cake requires minimal ingredients like white chocolate compound, silicon 3D mold and few sprinklers. To make the shell, I have taken 200 grams of white chocolate compound and melted it in double boiler method until it's smooth and lump free. White chocolate can also be melted in an oven. This is a heart shape mold in which I am going to make my pinata cake. I have ordered this silicone mold and hammer from Amazon. We'll leave the link in the description box. Do check out if you're planning to make one. I have used Morde's white chocolate as it has a very good taste. There is no need to grease the silicone mold. Once the chocolate cools down, pour it into the mold. and swirl it all over so that the chocolate covers all the corners of the mold. Pour off the excess chocolate out of the mold and refrigerate it for 10 minutes so that the chocolate sets completely. After the first layer of chocolate sets, pour more chocolate. If you feel the layer of chocolate is thin, you can brush some white chocolate all over the mold and apply this at the edges too. Keep it again in refrigerator for 10 minutes until it firms up. After the second layer of white chocolate sets, I am going to peel this off. Now comes the fun but scary part of demolding the shell from the silicone mold. Patience is really needed at this stage. We need to be really slow and careful while doing this. First, remove the chocolate from all the sides and then remove the silicone mold carefully. No pressure should be applied or else the chocolate can break. Once the chocolate is out of the mold, you can decorate it with anything you like. I have taken some more white chocolate and colored it in pink color. You 
if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe with bell button to receive the notifications of my upcoming videos using this pink color white chocolate and sprinklers i decided to decorate my pinata cake i have used red and pink hearts and silver balls to decorate the pinata cake I decided to fill my pinata cake using these chocolates of all kinds as everyone loves the chocolate surprises. I placed them all on the plate and covered them with the cake finally. I also made another pinata cake in pink color. One can be as creative as you want. I decided to fill this pinata cake with cupcakes and some frosting. And finally some chocolates too. And place the pinata cake on the top. The options for surprises are endless. I really had lot of fun making these pinata cakes and hope you guys enjoyed too watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button under my video. See you guys soon with another interesting video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.
first I am going to take one egg I am going to whisk this well now I am going to add 100 grams of butter now I am going to add half tablespoon of vanilla essence I have taken one cup of warm milk now let's add half of this milk in this we are done with the wet ingredients now let's add the dry ingredients now first I am going to add one cup all purpose flour to this I am going to add 3 4th cup powdered sugar 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder One teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Now let's sieve these dry ingredients. Now let's mix our dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. As you can see the batter is getting harder, add a little milk, let's take a spatula and cut and fold this. Mix the batter well without any lumps. So you can see now the batter is ready. This should be the consistency of the batter. Now I have taken this cake tin and I have greased it with butter and all purpose flour and I have used a baking paper. So now let's add our batter into this mold. Now tap this mold twice so that all the air bubbles are released. This cooker is being preheated from about 10 minutes. Now let's place the mold in this cooker. As you can see in this cooker I have kept a stand. On this I am going to place the cake mold. Place this cake mold carefully. So I have placed my cake mold inside the pressure cooker. For this cooker we should not keep the gasket and no whistle should be kept. So now let's close the lid. For the first 10 minutes I will keep it in the medium high. After 10 minutes in medium high flame the cooker should be kept in low flame for about 30 minutes and in between you can check the progress of the cake. So until the cake bakes let's prepare our chocolate ganache. So for this I have taken around 100 grams of dark compound chocolate chunks and I have taken about 150 grams of heavy cream so I am going to add these both and now we need to melt this I am going to place this bowl in my microwave oven for about 2 minutes now you can see my chocolate has melted well and now in this I am going to add about 1 teaspoon of butter and mix this well you can see the perfect consistency for the chocolate ganache now this is ready now it's been 35 minutes let's check the cake so you can see my toothpick has come out clean so our cake is done let's switch off the flame and take this cake out carefully now let the cake cool for a while let's clear the edges once like this this should be done when the cake is hot
so now our cake has cooled down completely so now let's invert this into a plate the cake has come out so easily let's remove this baking paper let's invert this cake onto another plate now you can see wow our cake is looking yummy and it's look it's so soft and its texture is also very perfect now let's pour our ganache on this cake So the tasty chocolate cake with the chocolate ganache on the top is ready. It's looking so yummy.